Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, Alicia from Crackberry.com here, and I'm going to take a quick look at, and I do apologize if I mispronounce the name, Chella for BlackBerry 10. Now as you can see, when you first load the application, you are presented with your dashboard. As it's a home inventory app, it shows you all of the rooms that were entered, all of the items, all of your locations, and even any additional information such as warranties. It also shows you the address of your house. At the bottom, it shows you the value of the stuff that you've entered with a value as well as some inspirational sayings as well. Now from the bottom here you can access your rooms, your locations, and your items. You can also have the overflow menu which repeats the same. You can also add an item directly from here or if you either swipe to the right or tap dashboard you can actually access your house, the rooms, the locations, and the items. So for instance if you tap on house you can view a quick summary of all the information inputted so far and you can hit edit. You can also add an image and you can modify including stories and any other information there as well. If you swipe to the right and to go into rooms, these are all the rooms. You can have your common room, living room, etc, kitchen as well as the bedrooms and you would simply tap on add and you can see there are a lot of pre-filled fields uh, for you uh, with presets for you to save. If you swipe to the right, you also have your locations, so these are additional furniture or locations within each of the rooms in your house where items can be stored. And you can add here as well, and again it also includes some preset fields as well. And if you swipe again and you can enter in items, which are most important, as this is an inventory application, you can simply tap on add, you can attach a picture, you can use the pre-filled fields again to choose an item, so I'm going to choose computer. You can type in the name. You can use the drop down to select what type. You can enter in the brand name, your model number, etc. and if any version number if applicable. Now any highlighted item on the right hand side that has a red line is a mandatory field. So you can select the room and then you can select a location if one doesn't exist. You can actually use the pre-filled fields to select one. You can actually choose an icon to represent it. So for instance I'm just going to choose the end table. You can add any additional fields as well as a description or a position and you would simply tap on save. You can select the location. You can also again select an icon to represent that item in the room. So this is a Windows computer and the important part of any inventory application is these additional fields that you can add. Now we already have the brand, the description, the model number, but if you were entering actually food items you can enter in the capacity. Any media related items you can enter and add those fields. Now for electronics you can actually use the next two which is actually warranty or purchase information. So if I tap on date I can actually use the date the item was purchased. You can add the other field if you'd like to include a warranty. So I can put the duration, simply tap on yes. So for instance, if you have a two year warranty, you can actually put the starting and the ending date for your records. And you would simply tap on save. So for instance, if you can go into any item, you can actually see the warranty, you can actually enter in the value that you paid. It gives you a summary of all the information that you inputted, which you can edit as well. You can go back in and edit any of the fields. Or you can just swipe back out. If you go back to your dashboard, it has been added to the dashboard as well with the value, the warranty, etc. And it's very easy to navigate, so you can always access any room in your house to see what items may be there and where they're located and what their worth is. And there you have it, Chella for BlackBerry 10, available at the link below in BlackBerry World.